What's going on, Packers fans? Aaron Negler here. It's Friday night. I'm getting ready for bed, and Bill Huber drops a mini bombshell stating that Romeo Dobbs, who was on the injury report due to a personal matter, not at practice on Thursday and Friday, that personal matter reportedly unhappiness. That's right. Romeo Dobbs, according to Huber, unhappy with his place in the passing attack for the green and gold, something that feels a little weird and odd to say because Dobbs is clearly one of the more targeted people on the Packers offense, especially now with Watson going out, dealing with an injury to one of your star receivers, you would think, well, now you're going to get more opportunities. It feels odd to suddenly not show up to practice when you're going to get what you supposedly want. But of course, this is all secondhand reporting from Bill, which I trust implicitly. He's not spoken to Romeo, but there's clearly a disconnect here between their second-year pass catcher and the organization. That second-year pass catcher has scrubbed his Instagram of all trace of any mention of the Green Bay Packers. I love living in 2024. So we now go into this game with the Rams down one star receiver because of injury and another star receiver because of his unhappiness, apparently. And I get, I've seen a lot of people already online talking about how unlike Romeo this is. Man, we don't know these guys. We don't know what drives them, what motivates them, who they are once they get off the field and go home and deal with whatever they are dealing with in their life. Apparently, this happened where he came to practice on Wednesday, which, by the way, is the day they would be installing this week's game plan, and then just didn't show up on Thursday. Packers reportedly were so worried and had no idea what was going on that they went to his home and found him there meaning he didn't contact the team whatsoever he just didn't show up to practice on thursday i gotta say i've been doing this a long time and that is the first time i've ever heard someone pull that one now look obviously as i just indicated nobody knows anything when it comes to these guys off the field what their lives are like what they're going through but man i also completely trust Bill's reporting that this is the root issue here and why he has not been to practice these last two days. And I got to tell you, it is supremely disappointing. I do not doubt for a moment that uh, something happened on that Wednesday practice, whether it was whatever the game plan is supposed to be. Maybe there's going to be a heavy feature of Josh Jacobs in the running game, or my real guess here is that Dontavian Wicks is going to be the focal point of the passing attack and or the number one read in a lot of the progressions. And maybe Romeo didn't like that. Maybe it's the red zone setup where he hasn't gotten as many looks in the end zone as he did last season. Now, yeah, he's played with the backup quarterback for two games and a quarterback coming off of injury for another. But I understand frustrations. I understand it's a game where you want to perform so that you can get paid. Dobbs and Watson are coming up together and Packers are probably going to have to make a choice about who to pay. But I also think this is a terrible way to go about it. It's completely unprofessional. And it really, really drives a kind of frozen stake through a locker room that had, from the outside looking in, been pretty harmonious. But you can bet this will be a distraction for some time now. Who knows how the Packers end up handling it? I'm fascinated to see what the messaging is from the team during and after the game on Sunday. Does Romeo even make the trip to California? We'll find out. All I know is that this is a very unfortunate development for the Packers and for Romeo, who is a very talented young man and clearly has a very bright future ahead in the NFL. Now, in Green Bay? This is a big one, man. I don't know. This is going to be tough to navigate and see if they can come back from this because that's unbelievably selfish to just not show up and give the team any kind of heads up as to that you're not coming to practice and or why. Uh, I'm going to be clearly following this. We'll be talking about it here at Cheesehead TV. I may do a live Packers daily tomorrow on Saturday afternoon once we get the uh, – kind of roster developments, whoever they might bring up from the practice squad, which will be interesting to watch. 
in the meantime, please hit like on this video, subscribe to the channel. We'll keep talking about Romeo Dobbs all throughout the weekend, I'm sure. Going to be a fun one there in L.A. on Sunday. We'll see you on Watch Party. Hit like, hit subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family. Cheesehead TV, we are devoted to Green Bay Packers fans worldwide.